Why, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. My name is Mr. Dogboat333, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, Guys or Gaz. The Ukrainian National Republic. In the last video, we made our way into Moscow, and then things started to stagnate. And then we ran out of manpower. And so, I took some time, I paused, I made sure we actually regained some manpower. Like, actually regained manpower, not just using console commands. And... Now we're pushing a little more. Since the last video, the Netherlands capitulated. America's landed. On this front over here. And I'm only I'm starting to shit myself a little bit, but not too badly, just just a little bit. But now we continue to push forward. And we'll keep going a little bit longer. We'll see how well we can do. Get Gorilla Fighter, why not? Entry expert on you. I'm surprised you didn't get that until now, but there you go. So yeah, we'll just keep pushing for now. And we'll either get in a pretty solid position to knock Rush out soon, or I might just honestly, like, Pop in some console commands so we can get to the next part of the content. And now, these guys are officially on Portugal. There you go. Thirteen medium tanks and seven mechanized units. I don't know if I have mechanized researched yet. In fact, I'm fairly certain I do not. Let's see if we can't move some guys there. What's the supply like over here? It is act actually dog shit. Wow. Um, Some reason my hot keys don't want to work. Is that gonna go? Can we get another claim, or is that just not gonna work? Oh, that's cool. Ground attack factor. We officially don't have any more Air Force units. That's rough. Okay. You know, I don't know if this is a game I w really want to try hard at this point. Because I don't... Yeah, this game has been open for a long time already. I've had this ga I kept this game- let's see. I started house-sitting... Yeah, I've had this, uh, Hoi 4 open for about two weeks at this point. Oh. Previously, trains intending to terminate at Kiev from Germany had to take lengthy detours via other maps members of Middle Europa due to the poor state of Polish railways, plaguing the routes with delays as express trains passing through Poland are required to limit their top speed and even pull aside on antiquated sidings. As now newly opened Warsaw Kiev Railway intends to pull the two nations closer by linking the capitals with an express railway, shortening the time taken for the Berlin Kiev Express from upwards of 48 hours passing through four nations to a mere 18 hours with a single stop. Built to a heightened standard, the traps support trains up to 10,000 tons and a top speed of 240 kilometers an hour. Well, it's not expected for trains to immediately be able to utilize the potential of the rail now. The high potential for the tracks are intended to serve more powerful locomotives projected to be developed within the decade, as well as the heavier freight trains heading to and from Ukraine and the Caucasus. A railway management body expects to be 
Required to serve 10 trains in each direction at any point of the day, including both passenger and cargo trains. Yeah, it, it's been open for two weeks. I, I, I put my computer on sleep mode, but sometime when I was gone, it turned back on. So it's been on for a while since, which is, uh, yeah, because uh, Kaiser up was going to update and I wasn't going to be at home. So I kept it open. I was just supposed to let it sleep, and then I'll get back. Thought was I'll, I'll get to it eventually. And I did. It just took me about 10 days. So, I'm getting to a point right now where I'm okay to just, I kind of just want to speed run this. Been very restrained on some of the cheats I've, that I sometimes use in console commands, at least like restraint for my standards, but eh. yeah, why not? And honestly, I'll just Oh no, Mass Mutiny, would you look at that? I'll get working on this and then I'll see if Russia collapses, I'm curious to see if I could just peace out. Um, I want to I want to request control of those motherfuckers. They didn't give it to me. I'll kill him. Now that's just ugly right there. Although Vietnam making appearance is pretty nice. Pretty cool to see. No, that is a very thick Siam. Which I don't think I hate, but... Yeah. I'm just not getting the rest of these anymore, am I? Ask for control of... Man, you guys just suck, don't you? Ethiopia stands tall. Would you look at that? This game has been going on for long enough. And this conflict actually finally finished. And that's how you know this has go been go this game go has been going on for too long. The fuck is that? The fuck is going on there? So who's in Middle Africa? Richard Von Epp, okay. 
Interesting. Took them long enough. The Cindy's have prevailed in Greece. They're embargoing the Russians, which is a very nice thought. Oh, would you look at that? And would you look at that, too? Um, hmm. Well, I doubt that's going to really do much, but. Yeah. Rush is going to capitulate in a second hit now. And for some reason, we, even though we lost almost a million men, we only have 8%. Oh, Jesus. Uh. Ugh. Uh... Okay, we stumble our way to getting all that. Okay, Jesus, that was weird. Um, Russia's fallen to the might of the Reich Pact, and there's no further need to continue with the cooperation project. It's fulfilled its primary purpose. Now it can rest easy knowing that Russia will not threaten our independence again. A grand day. <clears throat> we vanquished our existential enemy, Russia, but be wary as it will not be an eternal victory. Now that we're safe from Germany, it still looms over Eastern Europe heavily. We are a great nation, but alone we do not... S we are not strong enough. A block of like-minded individual states must be established to realize their destiny. The great empires of old have always been built around the seas. And if the same is true for us, the so Black Sea is our natural empire. If one can envision a line spanning from Ukraine all around the Black Sea, he can understand the might of this kind of union. Approximately 100 million people, great fertile lands, and natural routes of transportation. The so-called Great Black Sea Doctrine has been drafted by Yuri Lipa to serve as a broad goal of our foreign policy of the future. So we're no longer a puppet. Let's go ahead and hold elections for the soim. 
The recent election of Asoim, largely dominated by delegates associated with so-called Old Guard, safe to say the radical core value and true believers, has been weakened significantly since the days of Revolution in 38. This cooperation between the movement's veterans and Old Guard was only less during the war, the militarists and moderate wings of the organization managed to gain the upper hand. The militarists wing advocates for rigorous eternal discipline and a hierarchical reorganization of the league along strictly defined lines of subordination and ranking. Place hopes with Andre Melnik, longtime associate and faithful lieutenant of Arpropdik. Under his guidance, they argue, the state will achieve internal cohesion and order so badly needed these trying times. They are contrasted by the moderate wing, which advocates for more openness and internal discussions and relaxation of certain restrictions of the political sphere. They place their hopes in Mikola Kapusniatsky, an admired commander and respected military theoretician, personally, most, personally mostly uninvolved in the intrigue and power struggles of the League. Under his guidance, they argue, the state will achieve internal peace and stability. With our provoking Provodnik allow, allows for a certain freedom of internal discussion, and rarely directs nonetheless, unless the situation truly demands it, he nonetheless has a keen sense of the pulse of political life in the League and the state. The new composition of a soim clearly indicates that the revolutionary wing has lost much of its support among the movement, as, and as such, first state secretary, Sisaborski, will soon inevitably face significant pressure and opposition from the ascendant wings. Perhaps in order to ensure continuation of smooth governance, it's time for a change. First state secretary... Kaposniatsky, take up your duties. All right. Um, let's do, do true camaraderie. We are the brotherhood of proud of unwavering trust in one another. As such, internal discussions should not be merely permitted, they should be encouraged. Of course, the final world we left to our wise leaders but in order to make the most informed decisions, they should have access to a variety of opinions and viewpoints. Very nice. Um, is the game going to crash? I hope the game doesn't crash. Because if that happens... Oh, okay, there we go. They were just releasing Russia. That'll do it. Yep. The fate of North Caucasus. We'll do military occupation. Meanwhile, we'll try... Do we want to... Do that? Yep, they're just releasing someone else, okay. Let's go ahead and enact the Black Sea Doctrine. gives us a lot of options on liberation. Um, let's invite Armenia. Oh, Albania is free. Right, they are. This man doesn't really have anyone right now. But Romania and Albania as well. Motherfuckers, really. But we got Romania. And Albania. God, I'm proud of being Albanian right now. Can we invite the Ottomans? That would be interesting. We can. Interesting. Interesting indeed.
And then let's go ahead. Psychologically prepare liberated territory. That's a little interesting. Once again, we are reunited with our lost kin, separated from us by the machinations of the imperialist powers. We take a long time to fully integrate recently liberated territories for our enemies, spread no effort, while trying to destroy deep ancestral ties connecting these lands with modern Ukraine. So we'll get cores on Rostov and Novorossiysk. And Ethiopia declared, decided to clear on the Cindy's for some reason. Okay. Um. Yeah, sure. Because I'm not really worried about the war, honestly. These guys can just fight amongst each other. But I will go ahead and try inviting these guys. Nice. And George is a bitch. But that's okay. This would be interesting. Oh, God. Under the administration of the early People's Republic in the Hetmanate as well, Bel Belgorod was claimed and indeed occupied by Ukraine. The city was claimed on an ethno-linguistic basis. The southeastern and southwestern parts of the region indeed had a majority Ukrainian population. Historically, these parts of Belgorod belonged to a slow... Obidska Ukraine regiments, a group of Cossacks that controlled the area during the 17th and 18th centuries. Though these regiments were abolished by Catherine II in 1765, and the Slobitska Ukraine government was divided into the Kharkiv, Kursk, and Voronezh gover governments, the legacy of Ukrainian migration and later colonization into the region some hundreds of years ago still continues. The region in Steinerty continues to have a Russian plurality, but this has not been an issue for an the LUN. The League has justified the annexation, stating that Belgorod's is a strategic point of defense, one which would be external, eternal threat to Ukraine, would be in the hands of foreigners. A great initiative. Let's go ahead and secure these territories. Expropriate all that. Do a cautious reconciliation. Why not? The times are changing. Where the uncompromising rigidity was required, now flexibility may serve us better. Major threats to overcome the internal pol political scene can be made more open. A society cannot possibly evolve under constant pressure. Perhaps the voices of those who genuinely have Ukraine's best interests at heart should be heard, even if they don't form a professor allegiance to us. Aren't we all Ukrainian after all? Well, time to get a little funny. Medium tanks. some of these guys. I 
Actually, this probably isn't a good idea. I think objectively it's not going to end well. So, to save us. To save us the headache. Beautiful. Are we going to get the, um... Any pop-ups? Let's return... Let's give Romania back some land, why not? And then are we going to get options for this land over here? Because this is... This is like Ukrainian land, or it can be. Defeat of Austria... Celebrate them. Okay, so we can go ahead, we can claim these areas somewhere. Just claims, not cores. That's weird. I need to wait to get cores on all that? I don't know. We're at a Croatian state. our factions. I don't know what the deal is. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. I'm just kind of messing around at this point. I don't really have much else to do in this game. Um, that's really it for... that my friends so thank you as always for watching and for joining me in this fun little series um hope you all enjoyed if you like this video leave a like if not feel free to dislike if you want to see more of this content feature that sub button for updates for uh, uploads weekdays as well as occasionally saturdays if you have any comments feedback anything of that sort leave it in the comment section below i read all the comments you get and i appreciate any and all feedback you might have for me And, yeah, I'll be back probably before this is dropped with another video, another series. I don't quite know what it's going to be, but we will see soon enough. I hope you all enjoyed this. Even though I got a little nonsensical at the end right here, but I, I still had fun. I hope you all did too. We'll get back to Hungary, why not? Yeah, that's it for now, my friends. Thank you all for watching. My name is Mr. Dogboat333. Slava Ukraina. And I'll see you all in the next video. In the next series, rather. Bye bye.